Hey good people, welcome back to Freedom with Frida. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Frida Nguku and this is the best place for you. So subscribe and join the family. This is another installation of a very huge wall which was actually going to take three rolls. Normally, normal walls would take two, but this one is going to take three rolls of wallpaper. So this is a before, as you can tell, the wall is extremely dirty. So the client just wanted a Versace a kind of a wallpaper and that's what we're going to do. Then the next thing is you mix your glue uh, ensure that the consistency is good you don't have bubbles in it and um, it's the runny as runny as porridge as not, not so runny as not so thick in case you feel like it's so thick you can add some little bit of water keep mixing and then leave it to settle for a few minutes two to three minutes so that it's able to mix well and ensure that um it's ready for use don't just mix and use it immediately mix and let it see for some time this is the wallpaper that you are installing this was actually client's choice not my choice um then i normally add this pona which is um a wooden glue it helps to ensure that the wallpapers hold longer and also to help you to hold the wallpapers on the edges where everyone is passing and you don't want the wallpaper to keep coming off the first step is you cut your first piece, measure the wall, take the piece, cut it down. Then you apply glue on the piece. So this is the first uh, side of the piece. You can turn it. It won't hold on each other. People fear that. Turn it around. This is just to ensure that it doesn't touch the floor. Then you also apply the second, the other part of the piece. Ensure that the glue is well applied, especially on the edges where it will go to the side of the wall and also where the two pieces of the wallpapers will meet. Uh, guys, this is Joy Mac, Joy Mac Wallpapers and Deco. As usual, in case you're interested in wallpapers, wall mirrors, installation, just call us on 0712-027-807. Apply glue on the wall too. And then as you can tell, we have on this wall, on the other side of the wall, we have an arc, which is actually a door, uh, exit to the bedrooms and all other rooms. So you have to ensure that the wallpaper goes to that edge of that um arc and that's exactly what i'm doing don't leave it hanging because it's a it's one continuous wall so you don't want to leave it looking like there are two different walls so that's exactly what i was doing um then sure that the machine cut of the wallpaper is on the edge of that um of that door on the exit that's exactly what i'm doing use your scrapper scrap enough ensure that you take off all the glues you take off any bubbles that could be there uh to ensure that the wallpaper holds nicely and smoothly and um we can't see any bubbles on the wallpaper and that's what you're about to see me do um yeah this site is actually at east capital so i had to put you on a timer because uh, this process you've seen it on so many of my videos if you haven't there's so many videos of wallpapers on this channel so you can always go back and check i always wear an apron this day actually the client called me in while i was not anywhere able to access my tools so i had just had to come the way i was and ensure that i do the work because she wanted it done that day there were some visitors who were visiting her this is the pona i am applying this is what i was saying that the pona is going to help you on the edges once the pona is applied on those edges after a few minutes it dries off and the wallpaper cannot even peel off so it helps and especially if you have kids to ensure that everything is intact and especially on the edges anyway enjoy this video and see you on the other side of the outcome i hope you love it if you do give this video a thumbs up and call me in case you're interested in any of our products and services thank you this is the after